Poverty, disease, and climate change are defining challenges of our time and increasingly go hand in hand. What if we could change the way we produce and consume food to fix this? It is no longer an option. It is an imperative to transform our food systems to deliver healthier people, healthier planet, and healthy economy. Today, three billion people can't afford a healthy diet. Today, farming generates about a quarter of the greenhouse gases that warm the planet. Today, about 80% of the poorest people live in rural areas. What will it take to meet these challenges? The estimate is about $350 billion per year is needed for the next 10 years to achieve a food systems transformation in support of healthy people, healthy planet and a healthy economy. The scale of this challenge exceeds the capability of any single institution and for that reason collaboration is needed to make sure that the right incentives are in place and that the financing is mobilized to make that happen. In recent years, the World Bank has provided knowledge and financing to help countries sharpen their policies and reap better development outcomes. In Uzbekistan, reforms in the agricultural sector since 2017 have focused on moving from a state-led production system and a cotton and wheat-centric economy to a more diverse, market-led food system that creates jobs, increases incomes and improves climate resilience. Farmers and businesses have been encouraged to invest into higher value crops like fruits and vegetables. We built 1,000 hectares of fruit orchards and more than 400 hectares implemented drip irrigation systems. We are also exporting our products to neighboring countries as Tajikistan and Kazakhstan and want to widen it. It's also good for the planet since water is used more efficiently in horticulture than in wheat or cotton fields. The same spirit of change can be seen in other countries. In the Philippines, the Department of Agriculture hopes to create a more vibrant sector with diverse value chains that provide jobs and better nutrition. In Morocco, the government supports green growth to create rural jobs, make wheat production more climate resilient and increase livelihoods. Farmers are encouraged to grow higher value crops such as olive trees and argan seeds for oil. And in the Punjab province in Pakistan, the World Bank is supporting a five-year program called Smart Punjab that seeks to modernize public policies that govern agriculture and expand market options for buying and selling food. Over in Rwanda, food security is highly vulnerable to climate change because of the hilly terrain and high dependence on rain-fed agriculture. Small plots mean productivity needs to be very high to keep up with the population growth and ensure food security. Over the years, World Bank-supported programs have helped the government connect the dots between better managing the land, increasing access to markets, and investing in nutrition. We are working with country governments in repurposing existing policies and public support programs for agriculture and food to get better and more effective outcomes. This is a very exciting journey, very important, and we're working closely with our partners to achieve this.